Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be making a Lego mount for my GoPro camera. So, to clarify what I'm doing here, I'm making a mount that I can stick onto any kind of Lego creation and then mount my camera on it. It's going to be using the standard flat adhesive mount. Uh, it's four pieces of Lego, so it's uh, two one by fours, flat of uh, smooth on the top, two of those, and then two one by sixes as well, flat on the top. Uh, again, a flat adhesive mount, I've got my GoPro camera, and I've got the little mount to go onto the adhesive mount, the buckle mount. Uh, the pattern I've decided to do here, if I flip this over, and then you put these on it, you'll see how it'll line up. It'll be the two sixes down the middle, like this and then two fours on either side. And then I'll stick the adhesive mount to this, and then I'll be able to stick my adhesive mount directly onto any sort of Lego thing that I want to make. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the Lego blocks onto a base plate just to make sure I get the alignment correct and that everything's square so that it'll be easy to put on and off later on. So you're going to put the two sixes down first, this, and then I put the two fours beside it, there, and there, so that'll be where I'll be able to, and then I'm going to put this, just check and see how it lines up on top, want to be able to get that front pretty square, and the back, it's almost exactly the right size for the two sixes, and the two fours on the side, you can see there'll be a little bit of adhesive that'll hang over, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We, if we get a little sticky, we can either just put some paper over it or something just to uh, stop it from sticking to us. The next step will be to peel the adhesive back off. Once you've got that done, we can come go ahead and very carefully line the front of our mount up. Make sure we get it nice and square. All lined up. And then we'll just push down nice and hard to make sure it's really stuck on there. You can see a little bit of the mount will hang off, or a little bit of the adhesive will hang off on either side, but that really isn't going to be much of a problem. The stickiness will go away from that quite quickly once it's exposed to. And then we can simply peel the mount off of the base plate, and we can see there that we now actually have a Lego mount. So we can now stick this mount onto any sort of Lego we want, any blocks, if we want to mount it on here, we can do this, and then we can just spring our buckle mount, stick it on there, and then we'll be able to put our GoPro camera right on here. So there it is. That is a Lego mount for your GoPro camera. As you can see, We've got Lego blocks on the bottom of it, so we can simply take any sort of Lego mount, stick it to it, and then our camera's mounted on that. It comes off, and it doesn't take the blocks off of the mount. They are very well stuck onto the mount, so you won't have to worry about that. Quite a cool mount. I'm sure there's lots of different places that some of you guys can think of using it. If you've used Lego before, or you want to just make a cool stand for it or something, this could be a very helpful mount. Thank you guys for watching. This was another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Make sure you check out my channel. And if you have built this mount and are going to use it for something, please post uh, a response in the comments below showing where you've used it because I am very curious to see what people are going to do with this mount. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.